Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Adam Unpacked. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and an assembly of a Santiva water filter. So uh, we've had some crappy water here the last couple months at our place in town. I don't know if you're adding fluoride or just a little bit more chlorine, but it makes your mouth super dry and just not enjoying the water anymore, even just to use in the coffee. So we decided, hey, let's make the investment and buy a water filter. So this is a Santiva gravity water filter. So it uses stones, carbon filtrates out chlorine fluoride and then it actually adds like alkalinity and minerals back into the water to help raise your ph and stuff as well so i don't know this thing got really good reviews online i've got a buddy of mine that has one not too far from me and he swears by it so let's have a look and do an unboxing see what's in here so you can order this bad boy on amazon i think i paid 219 canadian deliver and uh, it should come with a countertop model so a countertop tank along with the filters here we go so it comes with a pre-filter at the top you should get a year out of that and then the main filter the rock filter i believe is uh, every four months you uh, you can top that up so come have a look here we have a mineralized alkaline water mineral stones so these are the ones that you actually add to the filter so that's what's in the box of course you have a manual we have a scrub brush here. We have part of the lid. Looks decent quality here. Have some different components. This looks like the, oh, this is the ceramic pre-filter that sits at the top of the unit. So you have a ceramic pre-filter. Then below that you have your rock filter, right? So your fluoride filter. So this is what it looks like. That sits below. So it's a essentially it's a two-stage filtration system. Looks like a tap here as well. So that's kind of cool. Cool. And then here we have the base for the unit as well because it is a countertop unit. So uh, now the real work begins assembling everything. Looking looking at the manual here, I mean, relatively easy to read, I would say. It does tell us before you assemble to download the filter ease app as well, which we've done. So once you punch in what you've purchased, and the serial number, it'll actually give you a countdown reminder. So you can see we have 364 days left on the ceramic pre-filter, the fluoride filter, 119 days, and then the mineral stones that sit at the bottom, 723. So this is slack to get that email reminder when it's time to change filters. Pretty cool. But I'm going to imagine like with any water filter, you probably have to scrub and uh, clean this thing. So it says uh, place tap system through hole assembly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do some light assembly. And then probably condition this thing. And uh, I would run a few cycles of filtered water through it just to make sure there's no contaminants. And uh, hopefully after assembly, we will see it set up and running. So make sure you read the manual, obviously, when you're setting this up. But uh, with this particular unit here, we actually have to basically cook the stones and have them sit in boiling water for how many minutes? One. For one minute. And this might be some kind of purification process or mineral release i'm not sure and then the ceramic filter has to sit in here for 15 minutes so 10 to 15 minutes you just dunk the ceramic filter in a bowl of cool water and that helps to activate everything but make sure like i said you just read the manual when you set it all up and then once this process is going you then have to scrub out the container and get everything cleaned up with the scrubber they say not to use that one because it will scratch the plastic oh scratch that guys do not use this we are going to use just a regular cloth. I'm not sure what this is for. Do you know? The scratch, the ceramic cut. For what? Just, that's what it says. Oh, to activate it? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, interesting. So here it says, scrub the ceramic pre-filter gently on the ceramic side with the scrub pad included in the box. So you actually take this and you scratch the ceramic filter. Very interesting, but uh, yeah. It's got a very intuitive manual here. And then once we've done this process, we have to wait another 10 minutes or so for our pre-soak. And then we will start the assembly. Let's check that filter out. Looks pretty good. Very nice. I love the fact that you can reuse this container and then just replace the stones and everything on the inside. So a lot less waste than having to throw out the entire cartridge. You just replace what's in, inside of it. That's cool. Make sure you guys wash the inside of the tub. Probably both the upper and lower stage, I think, are worth wiping down just in case there's any plastic residue. But overall, it looks like a very solid system. Like I said, this is the countertop model, so it does have the higher base as well so that you can actually fit a glass underneath the nozzle. All right, so guys, here's the nozzle here. So you can see it comes with like a little O-ring here, silicone O-ring, and then you have this, this nut essentially that goes on top. I can hear something in spot. Oh, there's actually a washer on. So make sure you have a washer, guys, on both sides. This, the threaded stock, tap side, and then the back lock nut side as well. 
that just about fell out. So let's put that on there. Make sure your washers are always flat facing. You don't want them to get caught on something weird. As you tighten the back nut here, you want to make sure that you hold this parallel so that it's straight up and down because it will move around a little bit. And then just, I would just go hand tight. You can always tighten it up more after the fact. It, but if you have no leaks, I would just leave well enough alone. And then it tells us to check for leaks. We're going to fill this thing up, make sure it doesn't leak. And as mentioned, if it does drip a bit, just tighten it up a bit more, but don't over tighten it. I mean, you're dealing with plastic parts and silicone O-rings and whatnot. It's pretty solid to me. I would say that we are pretty good here. We'll run some water through it to make sure we actually have water going through as well. But uh, yeah, no leaks. So you can empty that out and then we can start assembling. So we have this here. Yeah. I believe. So we will have a look, but essentially this is what it's going to look like. Let's just make sure we have the right components in the right spot. All right. What do you think? Yep. You got to put the rocks in. Okay. So we actually lay the rocks in the base and these are your minerals. So I don't think you want them falling down too hard. Cracking it. Is there cracking there or not? No, you're good. Okay. I'll lay them down gently. I don't know how heavy duty that plastic is. <laughs> cool. So we have the rocks here in the bottom. So that's awesome. What's the next step? Basically put on our, our second floor here. So yeah, the rocks, I mean, it adds minerals, it helps with the taste, kind of cool. And as mentioned earlier, the, the rocks here, they are good for a year, I believe, 365 days you will get out of that before you have to replace it. So essentially just order another box of the mineral rocks and do exactly what we've just done. So guys, when you are assembling it, it does actually tell you here to remove. Remove the nut and one washer from the ceramic pre-filter. So that's what we just did. It was actually sitting on top of the pre-filter in case you're trying to find it. It's not too bad, actually. Just don't, yeah, don't do anything weird with the threads. Once again, make sure your washer's all the way down. So I like to just put it on top and then screw it in, guys, so it's flat, so there's no high spots here because it is a silicone washer. And then same thing, put your nut on top, hand tight. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Yes. Yes. And then we have our mineralized or our fluoride filter. You can see we put our fluoride filter in first and then we put it in our pre-ceramic filter on top. And I believe this thing is ready to load up. So let's fill it full of water, I guess, and see what happens. So we're filling up the upper stage here. So this is obviously where you fill it. Then it'll dribble through the pre-ceramic filter. Yeah. And then through the fluoride chlorine filter here. Then It'll dump itself down into the rock reservoir where the rocks are going to just release minerals. So realistically, it should taste pretty damn good. This thing has gotten really good reviews, guys. Canadian built and made. So a Canadian company. That's pretty cool. Really can't wait to drink water out of here. If you guys are curious about this system, I will leave a link in the description on where to buy. Yeah, you can buy direct from the manufacturer. And we're actually going to run a series of tests. I'm going to actually compare this to my fridge filter over there, the tap water, and this thing. We're going to do a pH test. That's going to be the honest truth. Does this thing actually do what it says it can do? Let's find out. This is what it looks like after you've filled up the top reservoir, guys. It's super slow. Like, it literally drips. But with that being said, I can guarantee that you have a lot more filtration than, you know, through a standalone fridge filter. Like, I have a new LG fridge over here that has the internal filter and the water. It just... It tastes gross. It's not doing a great job. I really do feel like this might be the solution. So we will circle back when we have the water reservoir full, and then we will run some pH tests and prove this concept once and for all. See if it's worth the money. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day. We did fill up the Santiva last night. I filled up the water reservoir hopper and it did percolate all through the night. So we finally have a full reservoir ready to drink. I did try some last night here, just I, I couldn't leave well enough alone. And I would say flavor-wise, I noticed a huge difference. It actually tastes like a Fiji water or just a higher, more premium water. You can taste the alkalinity and the pH content. At least that was the placebo effect, but uh, let's actually test this and do the science. This is going to be a poor man's test, but we're going we're gonna to compare this to the tap, to my fridge, my LG fridge with an internal filter, and then the Sentiva filter as well. And we're looking for two things. First, are we going to see higher pH content in the Sentiva? And are we going to see chlorine filtered out? Because this apparently will filter out chlorine, fluoride, and add pH to the water as well. That's kind of their selling feature. So I've got these hot tub test strips here, which actually test for hardness, chlorine, bromine, obviously, and then pH levels as well. So uh, let's start. No cuts. 
This is not a gimmick. I'm not sponsored by Sativa, guys. I bought this with my own money and paid for it to try it out. And I believe in the brand. I have a buddy that owns one. And so that's why I'm doing this in-depth review. So here, tap water, let's fill it up. Because at the end of the day, if this works, I mean, who doesn't want better cleaning drinking water? Now we're going to do fridge water from my LG fridge. This fridge, guys, just so you know, actually has a filter up in here. It's like a canister style filter. Let me see if I can bring one out for you, actually, a minute. I think I have an extra one. So we're going to put this here. Hang on two seconds. Let me see if I still have an extra filter here. Yeah, so my LG fridge has this filter that I guess is a particulate filter. I think they actually claim that they can actually pull chlorine out, but I don't know. To me, in my opinion, it tastes like tap water. I'm not impressed at all. Hence why I bought the Sentiva. Now let's fill up the Sentiva glass. This is no gimmicks, no tricks, just an honest off the cuff review. That's how I like to do them here on the channel. So you guys, you can do this at home as well, right? So you don't have to go buy special strips. Just get your standard hot tub, easy test strips and let's dip them in there. Not too complicated. So let's put that one in there. Let's put this one in here as well. And then a third one in there. So we're gonna let that soak. Make sure we actually get all the way in guys as well. And already I can see a massive difference. So. Let's use the chart and compare this one, which is the tap water. So here, if we line everything up, this is the tap water. You can see it's, it's hard. And you can obviously see that we have, we're showing some pink here. So we're between a one and a three chlorine is visible and you do see it. Total chlorine green down here, pH is, I don't know, maybe 6.8 to seven, I would say on average, right out of the tap. So that's our first one. Let's test the fridge water. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't see a huge difference. To me, it looks almost identical to the tap water. Hardness, some visible chlorine, and pH, again, is around 6.8 or less. I would say these two look very similar, to be honest. Now, the Santiva rock filter. Right away, you can see it's lit up like a Christmas tree. So hardness, yeah, about the same. I mean, that shouldn't change. There is no chlorine visible anymore, which is pretty impressive. Substantial difference from the tap in the fridge. And then you can see the pH is off the charts here. So it definitely raised the pH. We're a nine or a 10. So there you go. Proofs in the pudding. Let's have a look. Sentiva fridge tap. Amazing. So there you guys have it. That is my honest off the cuff review of the Sentiva rock water filter. It filters chlorine, fluoride out of your tap water. The ceramic filter at the top does filter out microplastics and things like that, sediment, anything weird in your water. If you're ever in a bind, you can literally boil water, pour it into this thing once it's cool and it will filter it out. So anyways, I'm convinced by the taste alone and obviously the science proves that this thing actually does something. It's not just a placebo effect or a gimmick. So once again, guys, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but if you are interested in this product, I did sign up for an affiliate link providing that I believed in it, which I do. And so if you click on that affiliate link, you will save yourself $10 when you order. Thanks again for watching and I hope you found this informative. Cheers.